beautiful people it's me Caroline coming to you from MC Beaters and I just came back from Michael's and the dollar store because my lovely husband and my stepson and my lovely uh, co-worker and friend got me Michael's gift cards so I have a lot of money left over on them but because they're having the sale and they're trying to get rid of all the Christmas stuff and there was a lot in clearance um, I decided to take advantage of the good sale anywho before I start uh, showing it you guys what I got um, I just wanted to show you guys this I opened up because I couldn't resist a wish package and I received these stickers and I believe there are uh, one two three four there's 30 of these and on it it says handmade just for you and I got these because I'm going to be making um, lotions as well so lip glosses and lo I'm doing so I also got these and I got I purchased these from wish and I had wish cash I don't know how that happened I guess I didn't get something so I received a refund in in wish cash so I just kind of parlayed that money and I got these as well so these say handmade so anything that I'm making um, any gifting I want to do with something that I've created I could always put these stickers on them and these I was going to use on my lotions I don't know. I've been looking for spring craft fairs. I told Marianne. Oh, by the way, Marianne's at the Bronx Zoo now, and she's going to be doing a video on all the animals. I can't wait to watch it. So stay tuned. Now I'm going to unbox two wish packages. Um, I was going to tell you guys the story of my nails, but I did actually in my last video, and my husband told me I, I ramble on too much. I said, well, you interrupt too much. So I cut it out of the last video because he says he doesn't think that um, people want to hear about my uh, saga with my nails. So, speaking of, I got these. And uh, Bonnie from The Bonnie Life also purchases these. And this is great for when you have acrylics or gel nails. And I think just acrylics. They use them in the salons a lot for when you're trying to take off the nail polish. So you fill, you put acetone on the swab here and then you wrap it around your finger and you let it sit for a while so that this way uh, you could get the nail polish or whatever it is off. And I, I could have used these the other day, I can't talk today, when I was trying to remove my nails because I'm gonna tell you guys a story because my husband's not here. Well, I used some nails some fake nails from a set I purchased through Wish. And I think you get 12 sets. And they're very pretty, and I'm still going to use them. So I decided to, you know, put them on for Christmas so that this way. You want to say hello? Hold on. Dookie wants to say hi. So I'm puppy sitting Dookie, and he is getting so big. He's so big. He's part Pomeranian. Part Pomeranian. And the other part, I don't know, but this ear is always flapping over. Okay, you go sit down. You go play with the others. So, I put the nails on, and they were long. They looked like claws. I should have trimmed them, but I didn't because I was trying to, you know, they were the red ones, and they had some kind of gold tips. So, after Christmas, I tried to take them off. What happened was they were, they, they really were on good. I couldn't, and I'm like trying to get them off, trying to get them off. This was going on for like hours on end. This is the last one, and it killed me so much. I, I literally could not take it off. So I'm kind of hoping that once I put those on and I could kind of get that off. Oh, I got all the dogs here now. Okay, so that's that. I will be putting on another set, but I'm going to trim them down because they just were so out of control long. And here is my next one. Let's see what this is. So anyway, was that rambling? That wasn't rambling. I said it's the beauty of of being a female. We have to set the stage. We have to explain things. Oh, I got them! This is what I'm going to put my lotions in. Okay. Here's the problem. How do you get lotion in here? So after I make them, and how, how am I going to get the lotion in here? I guess I could use a little funnel, but then how do you squeeze it? 
If anyone has any ideas or advice on how I'm gonna get, because I'm making homemade lotion, how I'm gonna get the homemade lotion in this little tiny bottle, I, I really don't, I know that there probably is some quick way of doing it, otherwise I'll be here for like a year and a day trying to figure out how to get all that lotion in here, but um, I don't know. I don't know how this would happen. I'm, I guess I could Google it. I'm sure there's a YouTube video on it, but I really don't know. And then I am going to put one of these stickers on. So excited. I'm actually going to put these with this so I don't forget. And when I decide to do all this, because I have decided to do a lot of stuff in which I've done nothing, um, I'm all set to go. My lip gloss uh, venture and my <laughs> lotion venture. Nothing's happening though. Okay. Now first I'm going to start with my dollar store haul. They already have Valentine's Day stuff. Stickers. Now the reason why I purchase my stickers at the dollar store is because once I make toppers for whatever it is, when I do my happy mail or when I sell stuff or when I put toppers on anything, I like, cause I staple my topper onto the bag, but I have to hide the staple mark. And the way I do that is by putting a stick, um, stickers. So I try and find stickers that would match the color of whatever scrap of paper I have for my topper. And this way I am hiding the staple. And I bought some stickers at Michael's, but they're so expensive there. I mean, even when you try and get a, like a set of like nine, you're paying $5.99 and it's just, it's, a totally better bargain. So here I go. Now I used, um, they didn't really have any coupons. They had the 50% off a regular uh, item. And I used my teacher discount for my 15%. And all right, let me show you guys everything I got. So excited. Yesterday. Yesterday, it was my husband that kept interrupting the video. Today, it's the dogs. Okay, so I'll start off with this. Um, this was not on sale. Uh, again, I purchased this to hide the staple in my toppers. This was $5.99, not on sale. But because this is a regular item, I got 50% off. This was the only regular priced item I got. So this came to like three and change. Okay. I purchased this from the dollar, uh, not the dollar section, the clearance section. And this is a um, tag with envelope and it has classy and cafe natural. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but dollar fifty, and this comes with all the um, laundry, no, clothespins. Okay, I got the word. And the countdown to Christmas and it's like a um, has it it's on a string and you just you know you put them on each of the clothespin for each some of them came off but that's okay again happy mail something cute okay I purchased this this was an on sale this little tiny mini paper pad but it is $5.99 I think that's what they originally are again I use this for my Misha for my toppers and my toppers are going to be old jewelry and they're gonna be tiny and I like them to be not solid but with solid print so that this way they just look a little bit more polished so I think these why can't I talk today? These flowers will go good with these types of scrap, scrap of paper I'm going to be using for the toppers. They're still barking. I'm so sorry, guys. I noticed, <laughs> I noticed that when I talk on the phone or when I'm doing videos, Misha gets jealous. She just heard her name. So I'm going to try and do this in a very quiet and calm way, which is uncharacteristic of me because we all know I'm hyper and loud. Okay, so in the clearance section, I also got this. This is a punch and it says love. And I figured for Valentine's Day, I could use this. Mm-hmm. 
This is originally $24.99 and I got it for $9.97. So this was a bargain. Then all the jewelry, now they, they marketed it well. They said if the jewelry or jewelry items are between $1.99 and $2.99, you only have to pay a dollar. Anything between $2.99 and $3.99 will be $3. But then if you say to yourself, if, well, I don't know, I guess it makes sense. So I got these jump rings for 99 or a dollar each. So that this was good because jump rings are usually about $2.99 for the set of 144. And like I said, every all the purse charms I'm going to be making from um, now onward is going to be gold tone to match my bags. I also found the smaller lobster clasps. You can never see that uh, for the smaller, for these. Okay? So I'll be switching those out, unless it goes on a larger bag. And then, of course, these for my larger purse charms. These were each $3. $3, $3, and I believe these were three something. So because it falls within the range, they were $3 each. This was $3 as well. No, I think these were $4. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Okay. I also got these because I like the... Um, I like... Yeah, these have them. I like when the head pins have the little tiny circle at the end. So what I use sometimes, instead of bead caps, I use seed beads on the bottom so that this way my beads don't fall through when I'm using these kind these have like the nail head is that what it's called yeah it's a uh, yeah i it's flat okay so i use the seed beads to start my first bead in lieu instant blue instead of a bead cap sometimes okay then i got these charms these were each a dollar so i'll be adding these to my purse charms oh wait what happened okay they only had one of these. I would have purchased all of them, but this was the only one they had. So I thought this would look nice also. And I got two of the donut ones, I'm thinking, to put on the purse charms with my, um, my pink bags and a little ice cream one. Okay. Then, now, I used to think the red colored beads were $1.99. Unless I'm mistaken, I could be wrong. But they are $3.99, I believe is what it said, or $2.99. I think it said $3.99. I don't know. Anyway, these were $3 each. Love using, you get the most bang for your buck with this because you get four strands of these glass pearls. And they, they really hold up nicely. And like I said, I'm trying to throw some acrylics into, I'm trying to, you know what? The microphone is right next to the dogs. That's not good. These are heavy. Um, but I love them because they're very durable. And then I got these crystal glass beads, $3. Is that all I got at Michael's? Yes. So this is my haul. This is what I got at Michael's and the dollar store and Wish. And I'm alone in the house and I thought there would be like some kind of peace and quiet, but apparently there is not going to be. Uh, stay tuned because I know Marianne is doing a video on uh, Bronx Zoo. It is such a wonderful place. I don't know how many of you who watch us are from New York um, and live in the tri-state area, but if you do, I'm sure you know exactly what we're talking about. Marianne and I are both from the Bronx and uh, we, we are transplanted. <laughs> <laughs> to, I guess it's considered upstate New York where we live now. I don't know. It depends on who you talk to. When I lived um, closer to the city, this was upstate. Now I'm up here and I think like, um, I don't know, Buffalo is upstate. I guess it depends on your frame of reference. Anyhow, I'm done. I'm rambling. My husband says that's why sometimes I get a thumbs down because I ramble. I told him, well, everyone rambles. I'm not the only rambler. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Have a wonderful and enjoyable Thursday. I think it's Thursday. If it's not, I'm sorry. Mwah! Have a great day. Bye.